so friends first of all just click on start and search for powershell and just click on here and run as administrator click on yes and now here just type this command and hit enter this will turn off the hibernation okay it is done now just close the powershell now just on your keyboard press win key plus r and type your rage edit and click enter click on yes now just go to hk local machine then system then current control set then control then just scroll a little bit then session manager and just scroll a little bit and just select the power here if you find hyperboot enabled option just double tap on it and here modify from 1 to 0 and just click on ok just close the registry editor now just again click on start menu and search for feature and here you will find turn windows feature on off just open it make it full screen for better viewing and just enable the windows subsystem for linux just check it and click on ok just wait for a few seconds uh, now just restart your PC after rebooting your PC just go to the description of my video and here you will find the very first link Swebank branch just select this link and copy just open any browser and paste the link here hit enter and here you will go to the branch page just click on the latest and it will populate the latest version and just download the branch tar.zz version just click here and download will be started automatically now here if you have intel processor from 3rd gen to 9th gen you will have to download ramas that means you will have to download from this link and if you have intel pc from 10th gen to 11th gen then just download voltier you can refer this link to download the voltier and if you have above 11th gen processor then you can also download the voltier and if you are using 10th gen to 11th gen processor then you will need kernel 5.1 okay if you are using amd processor from strony ridge to bristol ridge then just download the grant by using this link and if you have amd ryzen then just download Download the Zoc by using this link. In my case, I am using Intel 6th generation processor, so I will download the Ramas. Just click on the link and it will open to a new page. Just click on the Leona and just click on the recovery image and from here just click on the 118 it is the latest version just click on here and download will be automatically started okay now you will have to download another thing that is grab to win just copy the link and paste it to your browser now from here just click on the download latest version and it will download automatically after downloading just close the browser okay now just go to Microsoft Store and search for Ubuntu okay here you will find ubuntu just click on get it will take some time depending on your internet speed okay after the downloading is completed you will find the open option don't open it right now just download another application windows subsystem for linux just click on it and just click on get click on yes okay after it is downloaded just close the store application now after downloading ubuntu just click on the start menu and search for features and open the windows features turn on off and from here enable the virtual virtual machine platform and windows hypervisor platform just click on ok now again restart your pc now again after restarting just click on the start and search for ubuntu open the ubuntu now it will take few minutes to install just to wait here now you will have to put any username in small letter and hit enter now you will have to put a new password for your ubuntu after putting password hit enter re-enter the password and hit enter okay the password is updated successfully now again you'll have to wait for few seconds okay now it is completely done now again go to the description of my video and here you will find some commands just copy the first command and just put here just hit enter then put the password of your ubuntu and hit enter okay it will take few seconds now again go to the description copy the second command line and put the command to here and hit enter okay it will also take few seconds it is done again go to the description and copy the third command line and paste it to here again hit enter okay it is also done now just go to the file explorer and in download folder you will find chrome os file grab to win and branch now just open the chrome os folder and copy the chrome os file to your download folder it will take few seconds you will have to wait here okay now it is done just go back to the download folder here you will find the chrome os and now you can delete the chrome os zip file now just right click on the start menu and click on disk manager and here you will have to create a drive 
minimum 32 GB. Just right click on a bigger space and click shrink volume. After putting the space, just click on shrink and an unallocated space will be created. Just right click on it and click on new sample volume. Click on next, then next, then next and put the name of the drive as Chrome OS and click on next, then finish. Okay, Chrome OS drive is created. Now just again go to the download folder and select branch and Chrome OS and just right click on them and click on cut just go to this pc and go to the chrome os drive and paste them here okay now the files are copied to the chrome os drive now just minimize the folder now just again go to the video description and copy the first command and just go to here paste it here and now just open the file explorer and go to this pc here you will have to find the chrome os drive letter in my case the drive letter is d so now here on the last just erase c and replace it to d okay just hit enter okay now we are on d drive just type ls and hit enter and here are the files you can see now just again go to the description and here you will find the command sudo tar dot zvs just select like this from sudo to zxvf just right click on it and copy and now just here paste it and give a space and here just select the branch file name and on your keyboard just press ctrl c and again here right click of the mouse and the name will be automatically populated just hit enter now just put the password of your ubuntu and hit enter okay it will take few seconds you will have to wait here okay now it is done again go to the description and here just select this command to is rc and copy to the copy the command and just paste it to here and give a space and now just select the chrome os dot bin file and just click Control C and just here right click the name will be automatically populated just give a space and again go to the video description and just add the dash DST and to this just copy the command and paste it to here and now give a space and put the size of your Chrome OS you want to put if you want to put 16 GB then you will have to give here 16 if you want to put 500 GB then you will have to put here 500 like this just hit enter and it will take few minutes to create the chrome os you'll have to wait here okay now the process is done now just select this dual boot option and press ctrl plus c and here just right click and dual boot will be automatically typed here just hit enter okay everything is done to your d drive just close it and just open the file explorer and go to this pc and in D drive you will find chrome os recovery as 16 gb and chrome os running text file now you can delete other things just keep the chrome os running command and the image file now just open the recovery command and on your keyboard press ctrl a and then just select copy close it now just go to download folder and open the grub to win folder and just double tap on the grub to win install just click on more info and select run anyway click on yes just wait here for a few seconds click on ok now just click on setup now just click on close the setup program grab to win will automatically open just change the screen resolution as per your convenience now just go to and now just select manage boot menu and here just add a new entry and from the drop down select sub menu put the sub menu name as chrome os and the graphic display size put as your convenience then just click on the edit custom code and just paste the commands here like this and just click on close click on save okay okay again okay commands are there just click on apply then okay then just click on apply now click on okay again close now just restart your pc now on the screen you will find the dual boot option the above option is for windows boot and the last option as chrome os is for chrome os boot option just select the chrome os and hit enter just wait here few seconds and just here click on branch and click enter wait again few seconds to load the branch framework here it may take 20 minutes to one hour to build the rebuild now just on the screen click on get started now just select 
for personal use and click on next click again next just log in with your email id now just accept the terms and conditions again accept and continue now again click on next choose the theme and just click on next again get started boom your chrome os is installed dual boot on your pc now just click on the app drawer and here you will find the google play store just open the google play store now here you will find play store for the first time play store opening time will take few minutes you will have to wait here if you want to set auto update to your chrome os then you can refer this video the video link will be given in the description and also in the i button